All right, so this video we're going to look at look to find the minimum or maximum value of a quadratic function. All right, so we've got two functions here. Let's look at the first one. All right, so we've got f of x is 2x squared minus 8x minus 3. All right, so a quadratic function is a parabola. We know it's either going to open up or it's going to open down. Well, how do we know that? Well, you look at the number in front of the squared term. See, in this one, it's positive. And since it's positive, we know that the quadratic function opens up. And you can see here, we're going to have a minimum value. Okay. In this one, we have a negative in front of the squared term. So we know that's going to open down. And you can see here, we have a maximum value. Okay, so let's look at the first problem. Well, we know it's a parabola that opens up, so we know we're going to have a minimum value, and this value here is called the vertex. Okay, that point is. So what we need to do is find the vertex. Well, if you remember, the vertex of a quadratic function is minus b over 2a. This is the x-coordinate of the vertex, and then the y-coordinate of the vertex is f of minus b over 2a. Okay, This is just the y-coordinate. This is the x-coordinate. This is the y-coordinate. Now this, this y-coordinate, look, all this means is take this x-value and plug it in for x, and that gives you the y-value. Okay, So let's go ahead and find it. So let's find, let's find minus b over 2a in this one. So that's going to be minus, and then we've got negative 8 is b. Remember, a quad, the quadratic function, it's in this form. f of x is ax squared plus bx plus c. a is the number in front of x squared, b is the number in front of x, and c is your constant. Okay, and that's over. 2 times 2 times a, and a is 2. And so we have 8 over 4, and so we get, whoop, and so we get the x coordinate of our vertex is 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that over here. So that's 2, and now let's find the y coordinate. So all we do to find the y-coordinate is we take this value here, our x-value, and we evaluate the function at our x-value. So that's 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 minus 3. And so that's 2 times 4 minus 16 minus 3. And so that is going to give us 8 minus 16 minus 3. That is going to give us negative 11. And so the y coordinate is negative 11. So this value, since the parabola opens up, it is a minimum. Okay. Now, let me say this. Some books, they, they may ask for the coordinates of the minimum or maximum value, if that's the case, this is what you would give them. And some books, they'll ask to find the minimum or maximum value. And what they'll want as their answer is they'll just want the negative 11 is a minimum. They just want the y, the y coordinate. Okay, so, you know, look at the examples in your book or look in the back and see how they want the answer written okay so now let's look at the second problem let me erase this and you know if if you like the video give it a like and share and check out my other videos uh, and so give me and subscribe if you like them all right so now let's let's look at number two so we got to find minus b over 2a. So that's going to be negative b, and b is negative 12, over 2 times a. 
and a is negative 2. And so that's going to be 12 over negative 4, which is negative 3. So that would be the x-coordinate, negative 3. And now to find the y-coordinate, we're going to take this x value, plug it in. So f of negative 3 is negative 2 times negative 3 squared minus 12 times negative 3 plus 3. And so that's going to be negative 2 times 9 plus 36 plus 3. And so let's see, that's negative 18 plus 36 plus 3. And so that gives us 21. And so the y-coordinate would be 21. And this is a maximum. Okay. And like I said, if they just want the y value, you would give them the y value and tell them it is a maximum. Okay, so either one of these answers. All right, so I hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.